Morning, beautiful people. How are you guys doing on this Thursday evening? I hope you guys have had a fantastic day. If you have not, do not worry. We are here to cheer you up. And our hashtag today is Nasty Thursday. It's not what you're thinking. It will all make sense when our guest arrives because... Just, I can You know, just stick around. You'll, you know, you'll see what's happening today. And of course, as usual, we would love for you guys to interact with us on our social media handles: Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter, and Switch TV KE on Instagram. I am Joyce Miner. Hello, hello. Is it tea you're looking for? Because oh we serve God. tea right here. How are you doing this beautiful evening? I know it looks gloomy. Yes, it does, and it's very cold. It's super chilly. I don't know what happened to the weather today. It's super cold. Like I have goosebumps on my skin to be honest. Triple one, triple four, triple one is a SMS line. A hashtag today to share kwambia ni nasty Thursday. Nam tajwa kwa ni nasty Thursday. But how about I flip it a little bit and say nasty that day because you're about to be thirsting in just a bit but of course welcome to the show my my name is nana witty yes welcome everybody my name is tracy note <laughs> i'm kind of note nana penda my note na leo sijadunga kote yani okay hashtag throwback that's it when i used to do music I'm waiting for the day I'll be back in the studio, but hey, Jesus lives. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. How was your week? How's everything going? What's happening? What's bothering? Me, I'm in good spirits today. I don't know why, but I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I hope you also are happy. Come on, Mimi. And of course, you know, nasty Thursday. How nasty is you to the devil? <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Karibu ni sana. Namalizia tu hapo. I'm just landing it over there. No, no. it's a tracing doti. Allah. Yes. Allah. 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 There, there. Eh? <laughs> there. I just like did the Jesus thing like right it. over there with the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's nice. Good. How's y'all? Si 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 poa, atayona mm. kapoa. Yani, mimi na feel too classy. I'm like, unasikia <laughs> kufanya hivi? Brunch, brunch, brunch. Mimi wasa, mimi wasa, mimi wasa. Brunch, you know. <laughs> Maybe she is. <laughs> Which you got a brunch? You got it. I just I see dinner. Hi tea. Uh, all right. Si sorry. Sorry. Okay, can you flip your hand? You flipped your hair? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. Now, by the way, if just in case you don't get to watch this uh, interview or this show, remember to go pala YouTube Switch TV. Now, also, Zuku to Channel 53, what was Tanzania? Channel 338 Azam Channel. But of course, you know how we start off the show. Napenda chai sana, na chai tu napenda kusab, so it's time for Pop Spot. Yes, and I do have the first story, which is uh, it's perplexing. So, we all know that the, okay, not we all know, mainly Juajana, Olympics 2021, Zimeanza, right? And of course, a lot of issues about some female athletes have been brought up, and the issue being that they are too manly, aka they have too much test. T testosterone. Wow, that word. So, Burundi's, <laughs> I'm just going to mention some of these names because I'm going to mention them in bits, right? So, there's Burundi's Francine Ni eh, Nio Shaba, Uganda's Annette Negesa, South Africa's Casta Semenya, just to name a few, and we also have our very own um, one boy. Now, the thing is, <coughs> uh, the what's her name? Negesa was actually ruled out of the Olympics way back in like 2009 because she was told her testosterone is too high and it's not fair for her to compete with other women and she was she was told she needs to do something about you know to fix her her t her testosterone levels now she was born externally with a female genitalia but internally she does have some male I don't know if it's genitalia, but that's what gives her really high um, testosterone. So she went to a doctor and the doctor told her that the only way to deal with it is surgery. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take it to Semenya, who's also had the same issue. Now, her, she was told there's a treatment you can take. I, can't, I think it's pills that you can take to bring your uh, testosterone levels to. Let me just read for you. So for a female, a regular female athlete, their natural testosterone levels are 0.2 to zero to 1.79 let me just say that again 0 0.2 to 1.79 nanomoles per liter for a guy it's 7.7 to 29.4 nanomoles per liter now she was told she needs to bring her testosterone down to at least an average of five and keep it there which i assume she did because she continued um she continued running now our very own um 
uh, Wamboy, I can't remember her second name, Margaret Wamboy, um, was also disqualified in the Tokyo, no, not Tokyo, in uh, at the 2016 Olympics, same issue, testosterone levels. But her, all she said is, you know, she wishes there could be a third category that is this, the male, male, men's race, women's race, and now I guess the one. intersex race, because yeah. most of these people have testosterone because they are intersex most of them don't quote me on that um yeah so there's there's a recurring pattern of these issues happening to predominantly african female athletes so people are crying foul i think it's discrimination why is there no other white there's, there's only white women i mean black women who've been told your testosterone is too too low you can't run and then um the first one annette the one from uh, uganda she went through surgery and now she can't run anymore because the treatment was not treating her well. She has weak bones, she has constant headaches, and there was the um, option of treatment instead of the surgery. So mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Because if it's happening to Af Africa, mostly Africans, then mm -hmm. they need to not discriminate, especially if someone has been running for the longest time. Maybe imagine yeah. training for something. Mm -hmm. You've been a child, mm -hmm. and then yeah. unafika ile time unataka compete for that award that you really want to get. Mm -hmm. And then you're told, uh, there's a way, uh, kuna vile God alikosea. You know, mm -hmm. like it's basically you're telling God, hapa kuna makosa, so you can't. Yeah. You know? So how yeah. about then create a segment another one mm. for those people that are you know built like that yeah because margaret Wamboy actually said you know when she was talking to like, one of the uh, journalists she said it's not their fault like you don't choose how you're born yeah. or what testosterone or estrogen levels you're born with that's why there should be a third category because what are they supposed to be absolutely yeah. 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 but i feel like if someone identifies as a woman mm -hmm. that is you are a woman it's exactly. just that your physique is very different yeah. and what you're made up of mm -hmm. so if we start judging people based on i don't know kuna what kuna what itakuwa yeah. sasa mtu mwenye ako na maybe ka ugonjwa flani ama dna tofauti ama blood group mm -hmm. itakuwa pia considered mm. when it comes to these things so um as for me i feel like it's so unfair the fa that i don't think there should be another category mm. for those who are yeah. you know intersex or whatever mm -hmm. but if someone is a woman let them run it doesn't matter what they're made up of mm -hmm. they are a woman whatever physique they have Kwani, you see i think this is the same thing that we were talking about the um the boxer situation mm -hmm. and the panty situation. <laughs> yeah. You get, yeah. these are not the things which are running. So my physique is not what is running. Mm -hmm. If I work out too much, maybe I may, I may look more muscular mm -hmm. than kawaida mm -hmm. as compared to someone when you work workout, but I can your physique. The same way we have ladies with bigger boobs, mm -hmm. smaller boobs, mm -hmm. a bigger bum bum, yeah. smaller bum bum. Mm -hmm. So honestly, I just feel like this is so unfair. Yeah. There shouldn't be at another category for no, I feel people. I think who it's look discrimination. Let's just be yeah, honest. It's, it's discrimination fair. because it's I'm fair. pretty sure they are, you know, <laughs> intersex white people, yeah. white women. Mm. You know what I mean? Why are they not being disqualified or whatever? I think it will also be very unfair if you have, you know, I think, honestly speaking, I think we should have three categories. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's it's going to be very unfair for me to compete with you, with uh, me, Nikiwa na estrogen, 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 me, Nikiwa na more agility, more, more th all those things. Mm -hmm. So it was very unfair if I'm competing on the same, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, uh, is it uh, is it a, a race, track. a track with you? Mm -hmm. Now we unaweza ukona more power, not because you're in the gym, no, but because of the way you're built. You know? I'm gonna say this: sometimes you can't take someone's gift just because they've been made different. The mm -hmm. same way we we have so many people who have different talents, mm -hmm. but there are people who prosper more as compared to others. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the quality and the qu in it, the quantity of the talent is very different. Mm -hmm. You could be having the same thing, but you're not the same people. That's why that is what makes us different. So. I don't know how I don't know how you guys feel about this, but for me, I just feel like you know, as in, if you're trying to tell a woman you look too masculine, like you know, whatever you have, I don't know, wh whatever you're made up of is a problem mm -hmm. that you need to be put at a different category because you're not fit to be in the women category. I don't know whether you guys feel how I'm feeling, but triple one, triple four, triple one. Know. Like <laughs> was yeah. the, the DNA yeah. is what is. Different. different yeah you know what i mean because a lot of people are born intersex and even though they identify as one they ha still have the all other. those hormones that's yeah. why their levels are still higher than the others so you see what's happening is they're being told suppress your testosterone yeah. it would just be easier to give them their own category that's true Instead of telling them, I, suppress I support your, that yeah yeah but Instead we, we, we agree to disagree yeah. triple one triple four triple one is the sms line we're gonna move to the next uh, sh uh story